Hey, Living Hope Church family, just want to give you a few updates. Today is April 9th, and it's Monday, Thursday. That's the day in the church calendar when Jesus had the Last Supper with his disciples, washed their feet, said, My body broken for you. This blood poured out for you. We remember that. And then tomorrow's Good Friday, the day that Jesus suffered and died and was flogged and beaten and crucified for us. And um, we're going to post on our uh, website, livinghopeathens.org, a, a Good Friday service for you. It'll have scriptures and prayers and video clips and things you can do for taking of the Lord's Supper as an individual or his family. It just walks you through uh, a, a time of reflection, of remembrance, and of repentance. Uh, so I encourage you to do that sometime. Take you about 45 minutes on Good Friday. Take time to do that. Um, you may also look for some other Good Friday opportunities on the Internet that are wholesome and good. Make sure it's solid teaching. Um, then Easter Sunday, we're going to be having our service uh, live streamed in the chapel this week so that uh, Jeff Wren and the worship team he can play that beautiful grand piano that we have in our chapel. So, so excited as we look at Romans 8. 34 to 39, I'll be dissecting that great passage about how nothing can separate us from his love, his inseparable, unconditional, motivational love for us. So I encourage you to have the family together um, in, on Resurrection Day, Sunday, when we uh, celebrate the, the resurrection of Jesus. We've also decided that whenever we're allowed to come back together physically for a service, uh, we're going to make that an Easter Sunday. So uh, the first Sunday back, it's gonna, we're going to pretend it's Easter because every Sunday is Easter. Every day is Easter for the believer. So excited about that. Also, my devotionals every day on my Facebook page at 9 a.m. Uh, we'll be looking at the, what Jesus accomplished at the cross on Good Friday. Uh, and then uh, Saturday, I'm going to give a, a kind of a prelude to the sermon and then on Easter, a special Easter devotional as well. But I encourage you to tune in every day at 9 a.m. or later. It stays up on my Facebook page. Also, I really want to encourage you to do something my wife and I, Didi, have been enjoying. It's called The Chosen. Go to, just Google The Chosen. It's an eight-episode of high-quality series about the life and ministry of Jesus. It is one of the freshest portrayals of Jesus and his disciples I've ever seen. I love how it portrays him as joyful. It portrays the disciples as very real and human, which, they, of course, they were. Uh, we watched last night the scene about turning water to wine. It's amazing. It will just uh, give you a fresh perspective on the power of Jesus and the gospel. It's called The Chosen. Also, I want to encourage you to let us know if you have a need. We have over 40 people ready to go to take food to anybody who has a need or to run to the grocery store for you or to go get a prescription for you if you're not comfortable doing that yourself i encourage you to be so careful these days and um, kroger and other grocery stores do pick up so you can order your food there and, and drive up and they'll literally put it right in your trunk if you're not aware of that but we also are looking to distribute food we have a relationship with the local food bank People have been donating food, and we have people that are going to uh, take that to people. Just lay it on their front door. If you have a need, let us know, davidholt08 at gmail.com. We want to know if you have a need, and uh, we'll try to meet it if we can. I love you guys. I miss you. And um, stay in touch. Stay informed. Make sure you're getting constant contact. If you're not, email kathy at livinghelpathens.com uh, to receive our weekly new newsletter update. And uh, stay plugged into this YouTube channel. Go to our Facebook page, Living Hope Family or Living Hope Church Athens. Just multiple ways that you can stay informed, be in a Zoom group. Now we've got Zoom groups not only on Sundays at 5, but throughout the week. There's Zoom prayer on Tuesdays and Friday nights. There's a Zoom worship thing on Thursday nights. There's uh, uh, Rachel has a Zoom group on Wednesday nights. The youth are meeting 7.30 through Zoom on Wednesday nights. Parents, make sure you're, you, got, you encourage your kids to be plugged into our youth ministry through Zoom. And Kevin, he's doing some great stuff. Um, I, I just do want to say a quick word to some of you parents of our youth. Um, I've heard some pretty sobering things relate, lately in the community about how parents are just letting their kids stay up all night and sleeping in and they're getting two weeks behind in school. That's not good. You need to hold your kids accountable, get them on a schedule, um, make sure they stay physically and spiritually um, healthy. Uh, and don't just let them have unlimited control of the internet and go on whenever they want and encourage them to, to uh, be doing things that are healthy. 
Yesterday, I posted on my Facebook page uh, 10 or 12 do's and don'ts of parenting during the coronavirus. I encourage you to check that out. And I uh, love you, and uh, we'll talk to you later.